What's up everybody, Marvin Four here with another Great American Survival, and today we've got another kayak review for you. Uh, today we're gonna be talking Skipjack. Now this is the Vibe Skipjack 90, a nine foot, just under 50 pound, throw and go recreational kayak, and this thing is awesome. Uh, we really enjoyed it. It has a $600 price tag, but you can find it. We found them as low, just under $400 on sale in some places, but like when we picked up this one. This one was uh, purchased by one of the girls that my wife works with. Um, picked it up for less than $400 at Dick's Sporting Goods, and it is awesome. So if you're looking at getting your first kayak or upgrading your kayak to something that's going to paddle a little better, this just might be the one for you. Stick with us. We'll tell you all about it. This video is intended for all ages. All right, so first off, we'll talk about the front of this kayak. Now this is called the bow. The bow allows you, has a very nice ergonomic grab handle, very smooth, very sleek. Uh, also allows you a point to tie off your kayak if you have it on a roof rack or if you're putting it on a um, trailer or throwing it in the back of your truck. It gives you a point to be able to apply resistance so it's not gonna fall off. Um, one of the things I think is amazing about Vibe Kayaks, it's one of the most underrated things, is the fact that they put their drain plugs in the front. A lot of companies put them in the rear. The rear is a lot wider. Most things, the rear is wider. But in this, all that water that's inside your boat is all going to funnel to the front and almost scoop itself out through this hole when you open it. That's huge. Pull top two thumbs up for that design. Uh, next, we have a front little ca uh, front bow mounted uh, cargo area. This thing got a nice little removable bungee. Throw your bag up here. If you're going out in the water and you don't want your things to get wet, you got to put them in a dry bag. Dry bag, throw it up here. You can pick them up at Walmart, Amazon, REI, wherever you're looking at, they have them. These things that will keep everything you're taking with you. Take a towel, change your clothes, put them in the bag. They'll, be, they'll stay dry. Very nice. All this, see how this area is, see how this little cutout is right here? That allows when all that water that's, when you're paddling, if it's windy, if it's choppy, that water is going to splash over the front of this. All that water is going to drain out and drain back there to those scupper holes. I'll show you those in a second. Next, back here, this is our footwell. This is where your feet go. These are footrests for different length people. Uh, that help comes in super handy. Like I said, all that water, see all these little troughs that drain out? That allows the water to come back here and get out through these scupper holes. That's the reason why you buy a sit on top instead of a sit in. If you flip this boat and it fills up with water, when you flip it back up, all that water is going to bail out through those holes and give you get you back to normal because your hole is still closed up. So water won't go in. As long as you got this hatch closed, you're not getting water inside your boat. Uh, up front also, we have ourselves a little tray storage area. It allows you, if you're fishing, to throw your stuff up there. Back here, we have a rod holder and a bottle holder. Up here, we got a paddle holder. So when you're paddling, you want to sit your paddle down for a second. Boom, right across there. Two forward-facing, flush-mounted, built-in rod holders. Huge. That's awesome. Um, if you're fishing and you catch a fish, hold on. If you're fishing and you catch a fish, you want to be able to stick that rod in there and not worry about having to lay it down and it falling out of your boat. Mm -hmm. Stick it in the rod holder, you get the hook, you get it baited, you get it ready to go again, and boom, you're ready to rock and roll. Next, we got ourselves a hatch back here. Let's go to it. All right, next, we have ourselves our little access hatch. This comes in huge. Uh, we also have two little side grab handles. Very nice, done, great tie-off points. Very nice. Uh, she keeps some bungees in here. This is going to show you how thick this plastic is because this is basically the piece they cut out to install this hatch. Very cool. They give you this in case you punch a hole in your boat. You can use a plastic welder or a torch and repair your kayak. Also included in there is your scupper hole, your scupper plugs. These plug them down in there if you're dealing with cold water, things like that. If you're paddling during the winter, it'll help keep water out. Uh, there's another set of scupper holes back here underneath your butt. That comes in really handy if you take on a lot of water. And it also keeps your butt dry. There you go. Get the clothes all the way. There you go. Boom. Next, one of the things I like about this boat, uh, between the footrest and the backrest, it allows you to really push back 
and push forward with your feet and you work that core of yours when you're paddling. That's what it's all about. Not using your arms, don't burn yourself out. You'll go to work the next day and your arms will ache. Um, back here, another set of scupper holes. All that water comes in. This little hump right here is gonna help keep that water away from your butt. Wet butt, right off the bat, can be a, can just screw up your day. Very nicely done though. I like the design of this kayak. Back here, two rear facing, rearward facing rod holders. Flush mounted, meaning all this stuff is all sleek and ergonomic. Meaning when you go to put it up on a roof rack, you can just slide it up on the roof rack and it's not gonna catch on a bunch of stuff. That's huge. Rear tank well, big enough for you to put your cooler back here, another dry bag, carry a little um, yoga mat, cut it down and put it back here and carry your dog if you want. Another nice bungee. And on the other side, let me run around there. This is our paddle holder. This is the one negative I have for this kayak is I wish it was like right there um, because this right here is far enough back where it's out of my way. But if you're carrying a hundred and a 250, 210, whatever paddle, that thing is still three feet that way. I mean, it, they're huge. Uh, that's what you need though. Very nicely done. I love the fact that it's all roto molding and it's all smooth and flush, huge. Let's go back here. Last but not least, as I said, you got nice little tie-off points here, allowing you to tie things down. And you got another amazing, almost two-handed grab handle. That's huge, that's awesome. Let's flip the boat over and we'll show you how this thing looks underneath. All right, so as you see, that is the rocker. That is what makes this kayak very nice. This kayak, allow, it allows this kayak to turn uh, very short. Uh, by not having a big high keel through the bottom, the rocker allows it to be more flat means when it's going, you can turn very quickly. I like this. Um, not very many of these do. This one's still got a very nice keel, which means when you're going across the water, it's gonna go straight. And when you wanna turn, it's gonna turn. As you see, it's got a very nice design across the bottom. And we those are the bottoms of our scupper holes. Now, this is also a very nice kayak because it's very thick plastic, very nicely done. All right, so as you see, this is a very nice, very user-friendly, great budget-friendly kayak. Uh, being nine feet, it's gonna work really, really well. Uh, it has like a 300 weight capacity, I believe. I'll put it down, I'll put it across here because I'm not really sure, but I'll double check. Uh, but this kayak is very nice. I love the fact that when waves come over, it just drains out, it paddles out so well. When we were playing in the ocean, the water would come up and drain right out. That was huge. It just made it where you could play and have a good time. I like this kayak for one of the biggest things I like about it is it's fast. Uh, when you're out on the water, this thing is fast. It paddles very well. Being small and lightweight, it tracks very well and paddles very well. As you saw from the design of the bottom, it makes it where it turns very aggressively. Uh, so if you want to paddle on some nice moving waters, like here in Georgia, we have the Broad River, we have the Chattahoochee. Those are the kind of rivers that these are designed for, not white water. So stay away from that. And before I forget, if you go out and pick one of these up, before you buy anything else, buy yourself a PFD. Gotta have a life jacket. Your life jacket is the most important thing you'll take with you that day. If you don't have your life jacket on, don't go. Stay home. Uh, this right here is a can be dangerous, but you have to have on your life jacket. I don't care how well of a swimmer you are. If you're a good swimmer, I understand that, but things happen. When you're carrying a bunch of stuff and you flip this kayak, you want that life jacket on so the life jacket will make it where you don't have to worry about swimming and you can pick up all your crap that's in the river floating away from you. Uh, especially if you're fishing, you're talking rods are sinking, tackle boxes are going away. You can lose a lot of money flipping a boat. So I just wanna make sure that you guys understand. Pick up a life jacket and get one. Don't buy one of these cheap orange things. Kayaking um, life jackets are not expensive. You can pick one up for $30, $40 and it'll still do everything you need and it'll be comfortable. Don't buy one of these cheap orange things that looks like you're gonna be saving the Titanic. That's not what we want. Plan ahead and be prepared. Get yourself a nice paddle. The lighter the paddle, the more it's gonna allow you to not wear your arms out after a day on the water. So hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you have any questions, shoot them down below. I've been doing this for 30 plus years and I really enjoy kayaks. I think it's an amazing recreational activity and a great way to spend time with your family. So thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed this. And if you did, give it the old thumbs up. Come back and see us again soon. We hope you have a great week. I'll put a link to Dick Sporting Goods and Divide Kayaks where you can go check out your own. Have a great week. Take time to get out there. Enjoy yourself. Enjoy nature. Be prepared. Stay safe. God bless, guys. We'll see you soon.